Hi guys, welcome back for another speed racing video. If you are new to the channel please consider to subscribe, and those who already subscribed to my channel thank you so much. It means a lot. So today's video it's all about omnivore birds. And includes the following birds, common ostrich, eastern wild turkey, greater flamingo, Indian peafowl, and the southern cassowary. Let the race begin. What is an omnivore? Omnivore is the term given to animals and birds with a diet that regularly includes significant amounts of plant-based and animal-based food. The adjective to describe these animals and birds is omnivorous. What do omnivorous birds eat? The diet of an omnivorous bird can be highly variable and can depend on the abundance of certain food sources within both their range and habitat. Some of the plant-based foods that omnivorous birds eat include seeds, grasses, fruit, nuts, grain, nectar, pollen, and buds. Omnivorous birds eat animals, including insects, snakes, carrion, mammals, rodents, lizards, fish, eggs, and crustaceans. To be considered omnivorous, birds do not need to eat every single type of plant or animal food. However, the diet does need to contain significant amounts of both animal and plant-based foods. Classification of diets is usually only done when birds reach their adult stage, as both the chick and juvenile stages of their lives may eat significantly different diets. This is because younger birds depend on foods rich in nutrients and proteins, which helps with growth and development. Are birds omnivorous all year round? Omnivorous birds have to change their diets primarily down to the time of year and what food sources are available. This means during spring and summer that insects can be the primary source of food, as the insect populations are booming and there are plenty around. When summer is starting to come to an end, insect populations can begin to decline, and instead, omnivorous birds often feed on fruits that are now more readily available as the crops ripen. During fall, both grains and seeds may also be consumed more regularly, as they are generally more available. During winter, omnivorous birds become less fussy and will eat most things that can as food can be scarce during this time. Many birds can store foods such as grains and seeds for this time. The highly variable diet and adaptability of omnivorous birds mean they generally have a greater chance of survival as there's a broader choice of food they can and will eat. This is much more apparent for species of birds that are resident and do not migrate during the colder winter months. Not only the weather determines what omnivorous birds eat as, during the breeding season, female birds often consume foods that contain more calcium. This is because it promotes the healthier development of their eggs. When birds are molting, more animal-based foods can be consumed, as the higher levels of protein and nutrients greatly assist the development and growth of new feathers. Birds that are migrating require diets high in calories and fats, both before and during migration. This extra energy is crucial to allow the birds to complete long-distance migration successfully. Chicks and juvenile birds often have diets where they eat more animal materials. This is because high levels of protein and nutrients are required for growth and development at such a crucial point in their lives. Omnivorous birds reaching more mature parts of their lives often switch their diets to become an entirely herbivorous diet, as they don't rely on as much protein and nutrients daily. At this point, they technically wouldn't be considered omnivorous anymore.
the winner is the common ostrich. The common ostrich, or Struthio camelus, is the largest known bird species in the world. Males have black body feathers and white feathers on their wingtips and tails, while females have gray-brown body feathers. On both sexes, the head, neck and legs are pink to white in color, and there is some variation in appearance depending on the bird's original location in Africa. The males have an average height of 7 feet to 9.2 feet, whereas females are smaller, measuring between 5.6 feet and 6.6 feet. As well as being widespread across the African continent, although not the deserts or rainforests there, the common ostrich has become common worldwide, often farmed for its meat, eggs and feathers. Although not currently endangered, the species range is becoming restricted, with subspecies of ostrich declining in number due to human population growth and land use change. Thank you so much for watching my video. See you in the next one.